Hi, everyone. This is Alex Tardy, National Weather Service. We wanted to provide you an update. Here it is, a Friday, November 4th. Uh, we expect a moderate impact from potential atmospheric river. Yes, atmospheric river to include impact across Southern California early next week. Let's talk about that. First, let's look at some of the recent rainfall. Another beneficial storm uh, to really stall and delay our fire weather season. So rain was pretty widespread everywhere except for the lower deserts. Most places along the coast this week had a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch, but there were pockets close to a half inch uh, in Orange County. Now the mountains did better as usual in those type of storms. San Diego mountains saw widespread half to an inch and then San Bernardino Mountains, even places between one and a half and two inches. It was not just rain. We had our first snow of the year. Here it is only early November. Southern California mountains saw a covering of snow from two inches in Mount Laguna to as much as six inches up in Big Bear and Snow Summit area. But the bottom line was snow did occur for the first time this early season above uh, mostly 6,000 feet. It was a really cold start to the day. Uh, temperatures, even in the coastal valley locations, our major metropolitan areas, some areas dipping into the 30s this morning from San Diego County through Riverside County. Now, most areas were in the 40s uh, along the coast. The mountain valleys were in the upper 20s and uh, the low 30s. So a frost occurred, including the high deserts. Our cold spots, yeah, you can see them stand out here, up around Big Bear, got down into the teens overnight. Okay, here are the key points coming up. This is our second Pacific storm, and this one could be an atmospheric river. The last one was not. Uh, the storm on Monday is part one. Uh, the main storm looks like it'll be on Tuesday with widespread Maybe heavy rainfall, not just showers uh, like we saw this week. Periods of rain on Monday will be mostly light. Uh, Monday night through Tuesday night is the main area we're looking at uh, for significant rainfall developing and occurring. We can see one to two inches of rain for the coast and the valleys. Um, double that for the mountains. Rainfall rates up to a half inch. Most areas will see about a quarter of an inch per hour at the peak Tuesday. Snow levels, they'll start off high up around 7,000 feet, but they will lower and get as low as what we saw this week, around 4,500 feet with snow falling, especially Tuesday night and early Wednesday. Okay, across California, this is a um, great precipitation producer. Um, it won't put a dent into our drought, but a great start to the water year. We could see several inches in favored mountain locations and even the valley locations seeing their first significant rain of one to two inches from San Diego to Sacramento uh, and northward. There's still uncertainty, so it's important to understand um, that for any location here in Southern California, we still see a spread of rainfall. Most rainfall is uh, shifting to about a half inch for the San Diego metropolitan area, but uh, there are other indications of closer to an inch of rain. Is this unusual for this time of year? Well, it is. Uh, the short answer is yes. The dark green areas indicate it's moderately unusual. Uh, it's a strong, moderately strong type of system, an atmospheric river, if the wind, the cold air, and the tropical moisture interact like what could happen early next week. Okay, um, one thing we look at is weather models. You probably do online as well. They're all available. From left to right, you can see that today there was a lot of agreement. Um, each model is completely different, so they're never going to be identical, but each one shows uh, widespread rain, even for coastal areas and heaviest in the mountains. What's going to produce this atmospheric river and the rainfall? A storm system on Sunday is going to be bringing heavy rain uh, and mountain snow to Northern California. That's going to shift further south. Now, the atmospheric river does weaken uh, on Monday when it gets to Southern California. But the storm itself 
carves into Southern California. It doesn't cut off, but it carves into Southern California with a strong jet stream painted in the red line, goes right over Southern California. That allows potentially a new atmospheric river to bring significant moisture into Southern California. Now, now by Wednesday of next week, it's passed uh, on into the Rockies. You can see there is another storm upstream, but it's uncertain how far south that one will make it as it moves across the west to east jet stream. Okay, I mentioned atmospheric river. Right now, as we speak, it's already moving into the Pacific Northwest. You can see it on satellite and on a computer model to the left. So the atmospheric river or the stream of high tropical moisture extending all the way from the tropics up into the Pacific and into the Pacific Northwest is shown uh, and pointed to with that arrow. So it's a long ways from us at the moment. By the time it gets here, uh, early next week, and it energizes and, and redevelops, it'll look like this coming down from the Northwest and then carving along the storm access into Southern California. So you can kind of see the shape of what we call the trough or the Pacific storm. Now, how much rain is expected? It's going to be pretty widespread um, one to one and a half inches, widespread one inch of rain. That includes almost every major city location. Uh, you can double, triple that for the mountain areas, um, and then you have to shave off some for the deserts. But because it is an atmospheric river, it will penetrate very well uh, with the deep, low to mid-level tropical moisture through the mountains and even into the deserts, unlike the storms that are just showery. Okay, uh, snowfall, snow levels will come down um, Tuesday afternoon and really drop uh, down Tuesday night around 4,500 feet. Take a look at the snowfall. You could see above 6,000 feet, several inches of snow, even a foot at the ski resort level, and some accumulation all the way down to 5,000 feet. There's going to be some wind, especially ahead of the storm Monday night and Tuesday as shown here. Uh, including coastal major city areas getting windy ahead of and with the atmospheric river on Tuesday. This storm does have a lot of cold air, even though it's an atmospheric river, so the two combined together, that cold air um, will bring really unusually cool temperatures on Tuesday, uh, 10 to 20 degrees below normal, and um, that's with the cloud cover and rain, of course. Now, uh, when the storm moves to our east and skies start to clear out and snow levels are at their lowest point, we'll see another really cold and frosty night uh, as we go into Tuesday night and Wednesday morning of next week. Here are the highlights. Second storm of the season. This one could be significant. Uh, we had a really wet fall, about two times as wet as average for September, October. But um, that was related to the monsoon, and this is related to the Pacific storm cycle. A strong onshore flow will develop early next week, especially on Tuesday. Atmospheric river conditions look likely on Tuesday. Now, there is the potential for too much rain at once on Tuesday. We'll look at that closer. Uh, temperatures will be cool. Snow levels, uh, even though they start off high on Monday, uh, around 7,000 feet, they'll be coming down uh, on Tuesday and bottom out Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. Uh, some lingering showers on Wednesday, and then um, there is potential for significant snow above 5,000 feet with a few inches and several inches above 6,000 feet, with widespread rain being the dominant theme for this particular storm. Be sure to check out the latest information at weather.gov. Um, we have some specific links where you can monitor temperature, wind, rain, um, as shown here. Uh, we also have a, a new page that you might want to um, consider visiting and provide some feedback on as well. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Check for the latest information, any potential alerts in the form of watches and warnings at weather.gov. And follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and um, this will be posted on YouTube.